Hey guys, Wayne Mustang here, and we're back with the Schumacher Battery Charger Repair Part 2. We're going to be fixing the fan circuit. Here, what we actually needed to do was put the two wires from the fan on the positive side of the circuit. That's because the fan circuit uses a bridge rectifier. It converts the AC output from both ends to DC, giving the fan a final output of 12 volt constant DC. Here's a quick illustration of how the bridge rectifier works. During the positive half, the circuit will conduct as shown. The other two diodes will be in a reversed biased state. During the negative half, the reverse will be the case. So we will get the same current flow direction at the I also put in some thicker gauge wires than what I originally put in. Should at least put wires in as thick as the originals because these wires do get hot. Here's the first problem I found. A bad diode. You got current going through both sides. You shouldn't get voltage drop on one end, but I did. So I'm just going to solder it out. Turn up the temperature. Oh, and I bought this really awesome kit from the Rich app. It was only $30, I think. Comes with everything. Okay, so out with the diode. Testing it out of circuit, this diode has a bit of a high voltage drop. Picked up some new diodes from the electronics store. Next, we have a resistor that's gone. This resistor acted as a fuse in the circuit. It's a 2 ohm resistor and I'm just going to show what I measured across it. And it's reading over limit. I turned up the scale to see what it's actually at and I got a very large reading. about a million ohms bought another resistor 2 ohms but this one was too small only half watt well here's what happened it started burning up instantly that's the size compared to the original Now here are some massive resistors, 2 ohms but higher wattage, that means they're able to dissipate heat more efficiently. And I'm ready to turn the charger on again, look what happens. Something pops and smoke rips out. Here's what I found. It was a bad IC. You can see it's cracked and smoke was coming out of there. With the bigger resistor in, I was able to trace where the problem was coming from. Bought two new ICs for less than 50 cents a piece and arrived in one day. Because the IC was so intricate, I decided to bring it down to an electronic repair shop. And here it is, the result. The IC is put in with the socket. With the socket, I can just change out the IC myself if it ever goes bad again. Looks like he also extended the wires to the fan and added some solder to the connectors to the diodes. And I just want to show you guys a customization I did. 
I put a light bulb in there using some wire nuts and some extra wires. Then I put a window on the side by using plexiglass. Now you can see what's happening inside, like if there's a problem. Okay, now let's turn it on. Two amps. Okay, now I'm going to switch it to 40 amps. Okay, now we're going to switch it to 200 amp engine start. Nothing smoking, everything looks good.